Hello, Teacher Dawn here. It's a really warm day today. I hope you're staying cool. Today we're going to do a lesson on junk food. And it's the junk food who wish she was healthy food. Yeah. So this will be for ages 5 to 8. If you're ready to get started, I'm going to start the story and you'll see it on a PowerPoint. Here we go. It's a burger who didn't want to be junk food. That burger looks awfully yummy to me. How about you? Once upon a time, there was a burger who had many lives. Each day, she would wake up in the burger bar and patiently wait her turn to be cooked by the chef before being served to a customer. Being eaten. While being eaten, she would do everything possible to make herself really delicious. With the customer's final bite, she would feel like the lights had gone out and she had simply fallen asleep. The next day, the whole process would start all over again. It would repeat itself. The little burger could have continued quietly living this way for many years. If it hadn't been for the fact that one day, while she was waiting her turn at the cooking range, she heard one of the customers referring to her as junk food. And boy, did this make her angry. She was so furious that she almost spontaneously combusted. The term. Hmm. From then on, she right, realized that many people use that term about her and her sisters. And after listening closely to the, any radio or television program about junk food or healthy food, she arrived at the horrifying conclusion it was true. She was junk food. So what's the difference between fat and healthy people? Hmm. Now she understood why most of her favorite customers were now much fatter than they had been when she first met them. And why, tho why those who came most often didn't look so well. The burger felt terrible. All this was her fault. So she tried to find some solution some way they could shake it off. Taste. Mm. And then she hit on it. Whenever she saw one of the kids who visited almost daily, she would choose the best place to be chosen and would wait to be served. Once he was... Once he was the child, and the important, important moment wasn't far off. The first bite, the burger would concentrate as much as she could, and nothing happened. Happened. The child sank their teeth right into the burger and chewed the mouthful just as usual. Then along came another bite. With the burger concentrating as before, but everything happened just as before. Several more bites, and the burger was about to give up when she heard the child's voice. Blimmy, how strange. This burger doesn't taste of anything. Hmm. Perfect plan. That was just the start of what turned out to be a perfect plan. The burger convinced all of her sisters not to have any flavor whenever they were with the customer that visited too often. In return for being even more tasty, 
when the customers came only rarely. In this way, they began to see fewer chubby, unhealthy-looking faces in the restaurant, and many of their old familiar friends started looking much better while getting to eat much tastier burgers. <coughs> Excuse me. And these burgers became much more popular from then on because everywhere it more it's more enjoyable to taste something after a while of not having it. Mm. So it tastes a lot better if you don't have it all the time. So we can only should only eat burgers and unhealthy foods just once in a while. Because when we do get them, then it's much tastier.